Hi there, uh, so welcome to my new YouTube series, A Ghostbuster Does Science Stuff. I'm Matt, I'm a Ghostbuster, and I'm going to be doing science experiments. Now, the idea behind all these experiments is that you can recreate them at home yourself and give them a try. Um, I've never done these experiments before, so what you're seeing on camera is my first attempt at every experiment that I do. Um, every episode I'm going to be doing something new. And um, sometimes I'm sure they will fail spectacularly, but it's still going to make a really cool video. Uh, so today we're going to be doing uh, a physics experiment uh, that has a focus on inertia. So the heavier an object is, the higher its inertia is. If something is really light, it's got really low inertia. Uh, so this is called the egg drop challenge. So firstly you need a glass of liquid. Um, I've used water, but you can use any liquid that you want, just not urine, because that's disgusting. Alright, then you want something like a plate. I'm using a plastic plate. Um, most important thing is it needs to be really, really light. Uh, it needs a flat base. And ideally it needs to be about 25 centimeters across. You can, you know, have something bigger or smaller, but apparently this is sort of the ideal size for this experiment. So you put the plate there. Then you need a cardboard tube. So this is just from, like, a uh, paper towel in, in the uh, kitchen. Obviously there's no paper towel on it. And then you need an egg. Now, you can use boiled or unboiled. I'm just using raw eggs because if I screw this up, it's going to be more messy, which is better. Alright. Egg goes there. If I can get it back. Make sure that's lined up. Okay. So, in theory, the egg has high inertia, the water has high inertia, the plate and the cardboard have low inertia. So if I slap it, the egg should fall in the water. <laughs> I've seen this done and it works, so let's see how we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah! Oh! <laughs> the, the cup as well. Two, one. <laughs> okay, let me set that up and we'll try again. Alright, we're back. <laughs> I hit the cup. I think it would have worked if I hadn't hit the cup, so we'll try again. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that worked. Okay, there we go. Egg drop challenge. Very nice. I've got one more thing to do though. Alright, so that was successful. Um, but I said you could use any liquid you wanted, so water's kind of boring. Let's use some pink mood slime. Alright. It should still work the same, in theory. Alright, slime. Plate. Cardboard tube. And push the egg out of the water. Okay, that's disgusting. Wet egg. Very nice. Okay. It's starting to get a bit windy, so hopefully it doesn't screw it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I missed again! <laughs> that would have been really cool if it went in the slime. Anyway, uh, it worked once, so that's okay. Still a successful day. So give it a try at home. Um, maybe outside, because that's kind of messy and you don't want to do that on the kitchen table. Um, but yeah, so I had one successful go. That's okay, it works. The theory stands up. So that's the egg drop challenge. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Look out for future episodes, I will try more sciencey stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm Matt, I'm a Ghostbuster, and I do science experiments. Have a good day!